What's good, YouTube? Back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to show you a new baseball pickup. This is the St. Louis in the alternate colorway. The baby blue colorway just hits so beautifully. And there's actually a few teams that have this colorway now. The Rangers being one, the Twins being another. But this Cardinals jersey's always been on my hit list, even from the Maguire days, believe it or not. It's just something about this chain link stitching that is just so beautiful to see on a St. Louis Cardinals jersey. So I'm super happy to have it. And let's take a closer look into this jersey. All right. So we had the authentic St. Louis Cardinals jersey. And look how beautiful this is, man. Look how beautiful that is. I hope you guys can see the beauty of the chain link stitching. I mean, this is just so nice. <laughs> the bird is beautiful. The bat to the St. Louis. And even on this bird, just so, so nicely done. And now that we have baseball back, I just wanted to do a review. A lot of you guys interested in purchasing baseball jerseys. This is an authentic size 48. And I will try it on for you at the end of the video but we'll take a look into a little bit more details of the jersey, all right? So you had the red piping coming down the jersey. And then again, you get that St. Louis Cardinals chain link stitch across the chest. Really, really thick, by the way, too. So these aren't <laughs> your little uh, replica, I guess, uh, twill or whatever they put, adhesive, uh, heat press stuff this is actual like s a thickness to it and in fact let's open the inside up so we can see what it looks like from the inside all right so as we look at the inside of it you can see how thick that chain link stitch is i mean it's really really nice really really nice you can even see some of the white which they didn't even uh, cut out. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't know uh, what's up with that Nike, but yeah, they did a great job as far as the chain link stitch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. While we're at it, might as well take a look at the tags. So we have authentic collection. Let me put it for you on this side so you guys can see. All right, so you have your authentic collection tags that hologram like design of it and then you have on this side some more stickers and other stuff and then you have a nike tag this one says upc on this side and then on this side it's just a nike swoosh and then you have your neck tag. This is actually made in USA, which is beautiful to see. I hope all Nike jerseys going forward are made in the USA. I do have a few that are made in Honduras, I believe. Come on, Nike. I know you're charging us crazy prices, but let's keep this in the US. And then we have the Batman logo, rubberized, as you can see, in that blue white and then red so really nice we take a look at the jock tag it doesn't say the size on the jock tag so that's just something to point out but you see the crispiness of that nike symbol and even the batman logo so it's really really detailed and in fact the nike symbol is raised so it's a stitched embroidered on nike symbol and it's raised a little bit and so is this little bar underneath this little gray bar it's raised as well and even the batman logo it's like a little patch a little small patch so there's that we take a look at the inside tags. And inside tags is my favorite part of seeing if a jersey's fake or not. So you have an inspection sticker and then you have the wash tag information, size 48. 
Now, something that I'm noticing, this may be a first Nike product that I have not seen with. All right, so hold on one second. This is interesting. This is the first product that I've seen or noticed. And actually my Blue Jays jersey is the same way. So typically Nike has a second production date tag, all right? This is a Derek Jeter authentic jersey, right? Straight from Fanatic, so no Fugazi over here. And you'll see, like, let's say on my Luka Doncic authentic jersey, right? You'll see this second production day tag, all right? This is on almost every Nike product, even uh, a t-shirt, even a t-shirt that you would get, a uh, workout t-shirt. And then just to show you a Nike authentic football jersey, right? This is my Julio Jones Elite authentic jersey. So you have the wash tags per usual. And then you have a second small little tag that shows you the production date, shows you the size, more information, etc. right? This is the first time I've noticed a Nike product without that second tag. Now, I did check my Blue Jays jersey, and it doesn't have it as well. Let me see what the, if the Angels jersey has it. All right. See, the Angel jersey has it. It's the second tag. So that's interesting. I don't see any production date on this at all. So not even on the other side of this tag. So that's interesting. I will say this is the first time I've noticed a Nike uh, product without that second tag. All right. So. Back to the regular schedule program. I just wanted to point that out because that's just, you know, me being a Jersey collector. This is really the first time me seeing something like that. It's something to point out, especially if you get these jerseys from a third party market. Now, we have the Nike swoosh. It's a patch. Okay. Now, it's the same patch. I might as well bring this jersey out as well. <laughs> it's the same patch as you get on the elite authentic NFL jerseys. So nice, thick patch. It's pretty much the same patch. All right. So we get the Nike patch on the jersey. So you do get mesh paneling. Very close to the Majestic. And then you have your tail with the breathability perforations on the bottom of the tail. In fact, this jersey, if you guys are familiar with Nike authentic jerseys from the NBA back in the 2000s, this jersey's fabric reminds me a lot of that 2000s mesh. So you would see the Lakers jersey and I have a Lakers jersey somewhere. Matter of fact, if we're gonna show you, we're gonna show it to you. So hold on one second. So this is my authentic Shaquille O'Neal Lakers jersey from 2000. And just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, my bad, I hit the camera. You see how that is that material looks, this dry fit material, all right? Look how close that is. The mesh holes, the way it's patterned, very close, very close in feel as well too. So interesting, maybe Nike has used this type of dry fit material for the authentic jerseys. So that's pretty much that. This is a size 48. I'm going to put this on for you guys so you guys can see how it looks. All right. So let's get to that now. All right. So this is how it looks. This is a size 48. And it looks good. It feels good, man. It's so light. I remember when I was in Little League and I would wear these heavy, thick polyester jerseys in the middle of the summertime. And it sucked. It was itchy. I hated it. These jerseys are different now. And this jersey just looks really really good it's a phenomenal jersey it feels good on you as well now granted if i'm wearing a t-shirt underneath i probably unbutton the top you know i don't need it to be <laughs> um 
all the way to the top and maybe even unbutton the whole entire thing. This is what a size 48 looks like on me. I am 5'7", 230 for anybody who's new to my channel and you're seeing this for the first time. But yeah, this is a really nice jersey. Has a nice little stretch to it. Really nice on the skin, really soft fabric. And I will say a difference between this dry fit material and the older Nike dry fit material, super soft. Feels like silk almost. Just really, really nice on the body. As far as length's concerned, it is a little bit longer than usual because it isn't authentic. But for the most part, you know, that just comes with the authentic jerseys when it comes to baseball, especially even basketball, you have a plus two length. So you gotta remember, these guys are wearing this jersey tucked in into their baseball pants. So that's just how the authentics run. But yeah, this is a great jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to do most of my baseball collection, especially the newer Nike stuff, just because it's baseball season. And it's not too much content out there on new Nike baseball jerseys. So it'll be nice to just get a couple of videos out there for you guys so you guys can see. And on that note, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we're out. Peace.